Hey, welcome back. I want to share this quick tool that lets you explore your entire Genshin Impact gacha history. Uh, because as you might know, the Genshin Impact gacha history actually get deleted uh, after six months. And we're approaching six months if you've been playing since the beginning of the game. Right here, you can check the wishes you made in the past six months. Anyway, so this tool is made by the Chinese community and I'll show you guys how to use it. So starting off, you want to head to the GitHub page. Uh, in case you arrived at the home page, what you want to do uh, is click release. And then you want to click on the latest version. So as of this video, it's 007, which is released yesterday. Uh, and then you just, you just want to download the Genshin Gacha Explore.zip. And once you download it, you'll extract it to a location, and which you can see I have already done. And you want to click on Genshin Gacha. Uh, export.exe so now there's two buttons it's very simple so you want to head back to your game uh, and then go to the gacha play and click on history once it load you will click on this white button here and if you see that it's loading in the history then you did it right so here you can see that it's loading the page 10 of the character event wish banner which is the Xiao banner uh is include all the banners so not just the current Xiao banner but like the previous fancy banner and stuff uh and because i have a lot of gacha history so it take a while to load uh but it does do it like really simple it just click the button and wait for it so you can see there it finished loading the here to event and now it's loading the permanent wishes uh let me just maximize Wait. okay so novice wish it should be done soon once it's done uh the first thing you'll notice is there's no graph which there's graph in the this bar preview uh, i suspect this is because it only worked for the chinese version but you can still see your history for the english version as well so i'm playing in english right now uh, as you can see that my game is in english and so the way you can read this is starting from the left this is the character event wish banner so the venti banner shao banner uh and then you can see in total i have 626 pool and i got a uh in this is i have seven pool right now until the next five star so um i accumulated pity for seven pool uh for the next five stars and then you can see that in total, I got eight five-star character. I got 84 four-star items. It could be character, it could be weapon. And then I got 300, uh, 534 three-star item. And for my five-star history, you see that I first my first five-star is Mona after 77 pull. And then 79 pull after I got Fenty. 79 after I got the Luke. Uh, 76 after it got Tartaria, uh, Zhongli, Ganyu, Chi Chi, and Xiao after like all 75 plus pull. And then the last line pretty much say, on average, it take me 77.3 pull to get a 5 star character. It's the same for other banner as well. So the weapon banner, you can see I pulled a total of 70 time. Uh, and then I am free pull until the, I'm, I'm free pull in uh, for my current pity. And then one five star, which is my uh, memory of dust, uh, which is this thing. And then the permanent wishes. So this is the blue a Queen Fate banner. And my five star here is Chi Chi. And I am 55 pull uh, in for my current pity. And then the beginner wishes, which is the Noel wish. Now, in terms of exploring, you just have to click this green button and you can click save anywhere. And once you have opened it, uh, which I already opened it in Google Sheet, uh, you'll get something like this. So you can see there's four tab representing the information I just told you, uh, the permanent wish, the weapon wish, and the character wish. And it's pretty much the same. Uh, so the first column is the time, second column is the name. How do I expand this? Oh, whatever. So you can see Dragon Bane, Barbara are my four stars, and then Mona, my five star. Um, and then the next is the type, so character or just weapon, uh, the star rarity for the item. So Mona is a 5 star, my Fisher is a 4 star. Uh, this is the total number of pulls, so my Mona is 77 pull. And then the last column is 
uh, the number of pull for the current pity. So you can see that it reset it to one after I got Mona because it reset my pity. And then you can see my Venti is 156 pull in total and 79 pull for that pity. Uh, my Deluke is 235 pull in in total and then 79 pull after for that pity as well. So yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it too and let me know if you have a question I'll try to answer them as best as possible. See you.